Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Monday the 20th of November 2023. I'm going to play a game of Sudoku before I head off to bed. Uh, Sudoku at bedtime, my occasional series. Uh, of course it may not be bedtime where you are, it probably is not in fact. But that doesn't matter, you can play Sudoku anytime you are in the mood to do so. So feel free to uh, um, play Sudoku whilst um, in the bath or whatever you are currently doing. Uh, this is the uh, New York Times medium level puzzle, uh, an occasional game, a game, a game I occasionally play on this channel, not a regular though, but one that I sometimes put in if, like now, I am playing a fourth game of the day. What's going on in the UK? The uh, COVID-19 inquiry is on as we speak. It's on right now, actually. Uh, I've just watched some of it. Patrick Valance is on, um, the government chief scientific officer, speaking about the government's lack of willingness to understand science. In fact, inability of Boris Johnson to understand science, basic science, things like graphs. I mean, the problem is that, you know, Boris Johnson is a faux intellectual, or rather, because he has classical education and can speak Latin, people imagine him to be intelligent, but it's been proved many times that he really isn't that bright. But, you know, because he speaks with a posh accent and because he speaks lat you know, he knows Latin, uh, well, it, people imagine that makes him intelligent. Doesn't those two things don't have to follow? Uh, it's just public school and privileged education. That's all. Uh, anyway, so uh, he's being bad mouthed as we speak, which is uh, kind of interesting and nice in a way, <laughs> uh, but also terrible because uh, you know it's not that that we care about. We don't really care about personalities. We what we really want is for um, the people in charge, whoever they are, to follow proper scientific advice and understand science much better. All right, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? Uh, this looks like an area for study down here because I see one blocking down here like this and across there, which is going to give me a one in that square. And also with those ones going up like this and across there, that's going to give me a one in that square. And now I see the fives blocking down and I say now, I'd already seen it a moment ago before, whilst chatting to you. So the one and the five are in situ now. Let's have a look and see what we need here. Two, three, eight. And fortunately, we've got two and three here already. So now it's going to be an eight. And now three blocking across here will give us three there and a two like so. Our 8 and 9 block up here, that's going to give us 8 and 9 in those squares. We've got the 8 blocking this square, so here's our 8, here's our 9. <clears throat> Alright, let's investigate these missing digits. I don't think, I don't know if I'm going to get any of them, but let's have a look. We're looking for 2, we're looking for 4, we're looking for 6. We've got 4 and 6 there, that's no good. Here we are looking for... Uh, not two, four, or six, so three and five. Yes, we've got three blocking across here, so here's our three and here's our five. What's missing from here? We're looking for two and we're looking for uh, nine. Nope, and here we're looking for uh four and we're looking for six i'll i will f forget these very quickly so try to hold on to that memory for me ah now this might be useful across here we're looking for at least one and nine i see one and nine blocking this square and i see one and nine blocking this square so i do know that those two squares contain one and nine and that means that here and here will be four and five. Um, mm, 
no, that's not good enough. Never mind. Okay, we have seven blocking down here. That puts seven into one of these two squares, blocking up seven across here and here. So that will be a seven at least. Uh, sevens across the top here and a seven up there will give me seven in this square. Sevens down to the bottom here and here and across there. Oops, means that that's where the seven goes. So seven across here, across here and down here. Back off. Um, completing the circle there went round in a, in, a, in a well not exactly a circle but in a loop of some unidentifiable shape topographically um, equal to a circle how about that <laughs> um, right now what do we need uh, we have eight blocking down here and eight across here that's going to give me an eight in that square there Oh no. I thought I'd worked something out, but no. Ah, here we go. There's an eight it's blocking across here like this. So there's an eight. Uh, I wasn't looking at the 8s, I was looking at other things, but I just suddenly came back and focused on the 8s since they were highlighted, and I realized that gives me an 8 there. I was staring off into space. Um, we've got 8s across here, down there, there's an 8, when actually the 8s were nice and easy. I was looking at other things, and there were the 8s highlighted and waiting for me. Um, but I wasn't looking there, I was looking elsewhere. Seven and eight are finished. Um, Okay, missing numbers up here, three, five, six. We've got three and six in the same row. That then will become a five. Four blocks these two squares. So for this row, that must be the four. Um, Uh, this is what one and two, I guess.
Um, let's hit on the digits and see. Just a nine. Hmm. Okay. So I've got to keep searching for a bit longer first. Um, hmm. is really annoying I know of course I've got fours there I've got fives here uh, over here I've got fives there and sixes somewhere there ah ah so six across here and six is one of these squares blocking down here. so that's six so this is this is four, this is five, and this is six. So four, five, six there. So this has to be a two up here. Okay, that's got it. Two across there. There's our two, and this will be a six. And then six across here and across there gives me six in that square. Six down here. This can't be six. Six is one of those two squares blocking up there. There's our six six across here six up there there's our six the missing number here is a four uh one more digit to get here um three is it i think it is uh, three across here and three up there so there's our three here we still need a uh what do we need nine 
we can find it on the keyboard there we have nine blocking across there that will also be a nine and uh, the last number here is a four four down here and four across there will give me four in that square two blocks this square here so in this column that's our two this is our one uh, earlier on I said one and nine blocks this square and one and nine blocks this square so one and nine have to be in those two squares so I remember now that that is a nine um, and we can get this, can't we? Because this was four, five, six, wasn't it? So this has to be a two. Um, now what? six blocking across here and across here will give me six in that square five blocking across here gives me a five here and a one will fill up that square one can we can we can we uh, no, not quite. Two blocks across here. So there's our two. And this is a nine. Nine this way, nine that way, nine down here. There's our nine, the last digit here. Four, are you? Four? You are. Four and six block down here. So that's four and six. This is going to be five five blocks across and across here here's the five good game this uh, don't you think uh, an enjoyable game not that easy really uh, six here six across there there's our six I mean remember it's a medium level game it's not supposed to be a hard level game so uh, I thought um, pretty good it's a four um, okay where are we where are we now what do we still need? Five blocking up here and five across there. So there's our five. And this is a two. Two blocks up there. There's our two. This is a one. One blocks down here. There's our one. And there's our three. An enjoyable medium level puzzle there for a Monday, I thought. Okay, I'll see you uh, tomorrow, hopefully, for more Sudoku. Bye-bye.